Hello everyone, and welcome to the Order of the Raven's Eye Speed Guide to Moonfire Fair 2015, a Final Fantasy XIV Summer Seasonal Event. It's important to note that unlike last year, this event requires you to be at least level 30, not only to pick up the quest and obtain one of the event items, but also to take the fairy from Limsa Lamenta to Costa del Sol. However, you can still get to Costa del Sol, obtain event tokens, and most of the vendor items if you aren't level 30 yet. You will need to travel through Lower Lenosha and then up into Eastern Lenosha to get to the event area. To obtain tokens, you will need to get gold or silver ranks in the level 30 event fades. As usual, here's the event info with a visual guide to follow. Part 1 Reigniting the Festivities Travel to the Aft Castle in Limsalaminsa Upper Decks and speak to Haramaga at 11x13y to pick up the quest. Next, head to Costa del Sol in Eastern Lanosha. Turn in the quest with Paviano on the east side of the Tiki Bar at 30x27y just north of Costa del Sol in Eastern Lanosha. Part 2 An Adventurer's Life for Me Just north of Costa del Sol in Eastern Lanosha, speak to Paviano on the east side of the Tiki Bar at 30x27y to pick up the quest. Now you must obtain a minimum of 7 fair tokens. You can do the level 30 event fates or the optional two repeatable quests that open up upon completing Reigniting the Festivities to acquire them. Once you have at least seven fair tokens, speak to Pubiano again. Next, head north along the shoreline towards Hidden Falls. Speak to Wunthil at 32x24y to turn in the quest. Part 3 Acquiring Tokens Event Fates Event Fates are the cheapest way to obtain tokens. They are also your only option if you don't have a level 30 class yet. The six event fates are just north of Costa del Sol in eastern Lenosha. They're level 30, spawn frequently, and are a mix of boss, gathering, defense, and slaying. You will get two tokens for gold rank, one for silver, and zero for bronze. You do not need any of the event quests to obtain these tokens. Repeatable quest, a matter of taste. This optional quest opens up after completing Reigniting the Festivities. It is the fastest way to earn fair tokens, but requires significant button spam and the purchase of materials or quest items. Head to Eastern Lenosha at 30x27y just north of Costa del Sol and speak to Zebotia on the south side of the Tiki Bar to pick up the quest. You will need to turn in one battered fish for each token you desire, and you can only turn them in one at a time. Battered fish is a level 5 culinarian recipe, and you can either make them yourself or buy them from the market board or another player. After the first turn in, you can spam your confirm button or zero key on your number pad to continue picking up the quest and turning it in until you have all the tokens you want or you're out of fish. Repeatable quest, what's in the dish? This optional quest opens up after completing Reigniting the Festivities if you have a level 5 or above fisher. This quest requires a lot of back and forth if you wish to do it multiple times. The quest item is a non-stacking key item that cannot be bought, sold, or traded. This means you will need to get one for yourself each and every time you do this quest. Head to Eastern Lenosha at 30x27y just north of Costa del Sol and speak to Espen on the north side of the Tiki Bar to pick up the quest. You will require ocean or coastline bait or lure of any level. Please ensure you have enough for multiple casts, so usually the first cast will catch it. If you're lacking in bait or want something cheap, the Festive Fisher at 30x28y just south of the Tiki Bar has lugworms for one gill each. Head into Costa del Sol and speak to the Fairy Skipper at 33x29y to get to the Rotano Privateer. Bait your line, cast, and within the first one or three casts, you should have your fresh haddock. Remember, you can only get one, so once you have it, speak to the Saltworn Captain at 39x24y to return to Costa. Then, turn in the quest with Espen. You will receive one token each time you complete this quest. Once you have completed the event quest chain, two new items will unlock at the vendor. One will be the item you received as a quest reward, and the other will be the opposite gender's version of that reward. There is only one vendor for this event, and you will find her on the west side of the Tiki Bar at 30x27y in Eastern Lenosha. Including the quest completion, you will need 29 tokens for the new gear and 85 for the older gear, or 114 tokens total.
The Oriental Wind Chime is one token. This is an indoor housing item that is placed on a wall and chimes periodically. There are also eight types of fireworks for sale at the cost of one token per five fireworks. Thanks for watching!